What is system analysis and design? System analysis is investigating the problem in the system and system design is creating its solution which can be either developing a new system or upgrading the current system. System analysis and design is the step-by-step -step process for developing a high-quality information system which further helps in running the business function. What role does the system analyst play? He is the person who develops the information system. He is the one who plans, establish and manage to maintain the information system. He is a valued member in the IT department as he is the one who manages the IT project. Like what tasks are to be performed, how much resources do we need, prepare the schedule, identifies how much cost is associated with the project, he conducts the meeting, deliver presentations and write the memos, reports and documentation to keep the managers and users informed. My presentation is on Chapter 7, Development Strategies. It is the last chapter of the Phase 2, that is System Analysis. At the end of this chapter, you can examine whether you will buy a new system or develop it. Chapter describes the following. Select the best development path taking into consideration the three main topics. Impact of the Internet, Software Outsourcing Options, In-house Software Development Options. Then evaluate the alternative solution using a cost-benefit analysis and financial analysis tool. Preparing the system requirements document which is the deliverable of the phase 2. Presenting the system requirement document to the management which gives them a clear big picture. Main topics. The impact of the internet, outsourcing, in-house software development option, analyzing costs and benefits, the software acquisition process, completion of system analysis task, transition to a system design. Impact of the Internet Firstly, we have to take into account that whether we want development to take place in a web-centric framework or traditional method. Let's compare the traditional development with a web-based development. In a traditional, they treat web as an enhancement whereas in web-based development, web is considered as a platform. Building the function in the web base can offer a higher betterment and risk in comparison to traditional base. Web based system development is expandable whereas traditional based system expandability is affected by network constraints. Growing trends. Web 2.0 is the new web generation that is rocketing the expansion of the information sharing and social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook. Cloud computing defines the whole online software and data environment powered by a supercomputer technology which is perfect form of software as a service. Outsourcing it is transmitting the information system development operation or maintenance to the external firm that offer these services on a temporary or long term basis for a fee. Outsourcing has become a part of overall IT strategy for many companies. Firms outsource their IT tasks for controlling the cost and to handle the fast technological changes. The outsourcing issues and concerns. Before transferring your data to another firm, we should check the background of the company. When you provide your data to another company and trust them to maintain the confidentiality, security and quality. In-house software development options. Company makes a choice whether to develop its own system or buy and implement a software package. The most consideration is given to the total cost of ownership while making this decision. The reason for in-house development can be it fulfills the business needs. We do not need to make much changes in the procedures and the policies. It creates internal resources. It meets restrictions of the current system. And the reason for purchasing a software package can be as it involves a less cost and needs a less time to set up. It needs the technical development staff. It takes input from other firms. Analyzing a cost and benefits. At the end of the analysis phase, we apply financial analysis tools to evaluate development strategies and see how our project will move forward. We can create a cost benefit checklist. 
write down the development strategies to be considered, find out the costs and benefits for each alternative, include a support cost for a hardware and software, take into account their future growth, apply financial analysis tools to each development strategy, analyze the results and make a report for management. The total cost of ownership is a higher if we develop a system as compared with the buying a software package. The software acquisition process flows in the following way. The step one, evaluate the information systems requirement. In this we identify the key features, consider the network and web related issues, estimate the volume and the future growth, Specify hardware, software, and personal constraints. Prepare a request for a proposal or quotation. In second step, we identify potential vendors or outsourcing options. Step 3. Evaluate the alternatives. In step 4, perform cost and benefit analysis. Step 5. Prepare a recommendation. Step 6. Implement the solution. Completion of a system analysis task. System Requirements Document It is like a contract that defines what the system developers should deliver to the users. System Requirement Document contains the requirement for the new system, describes any alternative which can be considered, makes a recommendation to the management, then presents it to the management. At the end of system analysis phase, the presentation is given to the management that is the most critical milestone in the system development process. Prior to this presentation, one presentation is given to the principal individual in the IT department and one to the users. But the system requirement document is the basis for all the presentations. Input for this chapter. In the previous chapters of analysis phase, we learn how the requirement modeling, data and process modeling and object modeling creates logical model of the information system. After this chapter begins the work of system design. Now using a system requirements document, the developers transform the logical model into the working model. Role of system analysis in this chapter. System analysis plays a crucial role in this chapter. When a company decides that whether to buy a software or make a software, that affects the involvement of the system analysis. Because in in-house development, system analysis has to be much more involved as compared to the outsourcing a software package. System analysis has to evaluate and make a selection of alternatives, keeping in mind which alternative has the lowest total cost of ownership. When they select a hardware and software, system analysis work as evaluation and selection team. Findings of the report. The system requirement document has the following contents. User specification. In user specification they describe the new system from a user's viewpoint. Functional specification. It describes the functional blueprint of the system like when to produce a weekly staff report or a project report. Third, performance specification. It states the performance specification of the system telling about the performance. Technical specification. It describes the major structures and databases and how does the system interface within the exi existing environment. Gathering information. We can gather the information by interviewing, questionnaire, observations, sampling, or written documents. Then is the validation. It is done to check the accuracy of the process, consolidate the requirements. In this, you can unify the information you gathered and delete the one which does not seem to be relevant. Precise the requirement and then model the requirements at the end set preferences. The summary of this chapter. It describes about the system development strategies, how to prepare the requirement document report, how to present the system requirements document. Keywords. Benchmark. It is like checking the work you have done with the projected work. Middleware. It combines the two already existing programs. News group. It is a kind of discussion forum on a particular topic on the Usenet services. Thank you. That's all about Chapter 7, Development Strategies.